Six days of rioting in a Negro section of Los Angeles left behind scenes reminiscent of war-torn cities. More than 100 square blocks were decimated by fire and looters, and few buildings were left intact. Firemen were harassed by snipers and brick-throwing hoodlums as they attempted to control the fires, many of which were left to burn themselves out. As the National Guard moved in to restore comparative calm, the losses by fire alone were put at $200 million. No attempt has yet been made to estimate the losses suffered at the hands of the looters who stole everything from liquor to playpens. Firemen were later issued flak suits of bulletproof mesh to protect them from snipers who continued to shoot from rooftops. Nearly 3,000 were arrested and authorities had to open abandoned jails to house those netted by the police. It took the appearance of 14,000 troops to bring an end to what both Negro and white leaders called insurrection by hoodlums. Civil rights leaders were quick to deplore the unbridled lawlessness and Martin Luther King vowed to do all in his power to prevent a recurrence in Los Angeles or anywhere. An uneasy calm prevails in what is known as the Watts area of the city. A curfew was put into effect, and the entire section declared off limits to all but residents. The people who live here are suffering great hardship with no grocery, drug, or other service stores able to operate. A special task force of 1,000 policemen stays on the alert as the thousands of guardsmen patrol an area of 35 square miles. The outbreak spread to other Southern California cities, but were quickly quelled. And Los Angeles authorities say they are now ready to move with dispatch if lawlessness breaks out anew. The riots in Los Angeles have written a sorrowful page in American history.